Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Chad Sports Talk. We take a dive in the world of sports. You don't know, my name is Chad, and this is a update to the college realignment saga. Um, I made quite a few videos, I think up to four, about the demise and death and the end of Conference USA as we know it. And Conference USA has made me look like a fool. Um, they uh, uh, have revitalized themselves. They piecemealed themselves into a, a, a conference as now the Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> For lack of better better of analogy there. Um, they invited New Mexico State Liberty from the, from the uh, uh, FBS Independence and then Sam Houston State and Jacksonville State from the FCS. I didn't think that the latter two could do it at that at this particular time. I don't think they were ready. Um, I've already found articles saying that Sam Houston State's nowhere near ready. Uh, I think Jacksonville State was just looking for a, an excuse to make the jump. Um, I didn't think they'll do it because they were a core member of the ASUN launching next year. Now they can't without they've been a member. So... Well, no, they can still launch, but they, you know, by the time, you know, they, Jacksonville State leaves, they have to find another member to make the move. Um, so, you know, they, they all prove me wrong. They're, they're making a move. And I know Jack, Sam Houston State, Jacksonville State both have quality football teams. So this should be very competitive within Conference USA. And once they become eligible, make a run for the conference title. And then I was waiting for the other shoe to drop um, of the of the uh, ship sinking. I was waiting for uh, the MAC it was still rumored to possibly expand and grabbing Western Kentucky, Middle Tennessee. Well, there's news on that front. Um, Middle Tennessee has decided to stay put. Um, they looked at the new additions that Conference USA has added, especially then you got Jacksonville State. So you have another school close to you that you can really develop a good rivalry with, and it definitely has a very high quality football team. And then they look at this and like, you know what? Um, our hearts, our, our, our soul is the South. Um, they added Southern schools. Why are we going to go North? So they decided they're staying put. And more than likely, Western Kentucky is going to follow suit. They seem to be like a package deal. You get one, you get the other. And that's what the Mac was kind of counting on, get that little Southern exposure. Kind of creates their footprint a little bit. And I think that opportunity has ended if you know it, it i think the only way they would have been added i think now at this point is if the uh four that were asked to join said no like i originally thought they would um in the end you know they look at the opportunities of being in fbs and, and the possibilities of earning more money than they would stay in the, in the fcs especially for sam houston state jacksonville state um you know too too uh, hard to uh, pass up and Middle Tennessee saw this and going, you know what? You know, Conference USA is actually trying to find themselves, try to be viable. So we're going to stay put. We're going to stick with them. And like I said, Western Kentucky is probably going to fall suit probably either later today or over the next couple of days. Um, I'll put the, the link to the two articles I found uh, pertaining to this in the description below so that we can uh, look at them yourself. So, you know, there's a couple, you know, scenarios to kind of look at after this. So, um, uh, I'll get to the Mac and Spac expansion a little bit later. So let's go ahead and look at the Conference USA as it stands right now. It's at nine members. So very viable conference. You have eight conference games. The only downside to nine members, you can't have a college football championship game because you need at least 10 to do that. It's one of those recent uh, changes to the rules that allowed Big 12 to have a conference championship game with only 10 members. So with this aspect, what this conference... Conference USA do next? Do you start looking at other SCS members to see they can uh, elevate themselves and move up? Um, do they grab Stephen F, uh, Stephen F. Austin, um, Central Arkansas, Austin P, Richmond, um, Florida A and M, Chattanooga, Missouri State? I mean, do they grab one of those guys, or do they go? and look at the three independent schools and go and bring them in. Now to kind of, you know, scale this back a little bit, Conference USA and their bylaws have stated that any member that joins Conference USA must be a full member. 
That means they're not going to be there just for football. That's all or nothing for Conference USA. They will have to change their bylaws in order to bring in a football-only member. That's one thing you kind of have to remember, Conference USA. So do they change their bylaws to allow, say, Army, UConn, UMass, either one or all, to move down and, and, or move over and join their football ranks so that way they can have a you know, conference championship game or they try to entice someone else to make the move over. Maybe they go raiding the Mac. <laughs> I highly doubt that one, but hey, you know, why not try to get in, into Ohio? Maybe grab Toledo and pull pull them into the Mac or pull them into the uh, Conference USA. And like I said, that one's probably highly unlikely. Um, more than likely, um, I think they're going to stay put at nine. Kind of let things kind of play out, kind of see how the dust settles, everything, and and the landscape of, of the FBS college football because you still have the possibility of the playoffs expanding. Now, they explain, uh, ex- expand, there's new rules in terms of that. And then maybe then they change their bylaws and then welcome in those three independent programs. Or they still go after someone else to kind of uh, increase, increase their uh, numbers in the SCS realm. Um, in terms of the MAC, they may just next their their possibility of, of expanding the 14 um, or they can go one or two different directions um, they can still jump to 14 and go bring in Eastern Kentucky which they've been eyeing for a while I think that one's been on their minds for a bit and then if you bring Eastern Kentucky then you can bring in Austin P. continue the uh, extraction of A-Sun schools or go a completely different direction and grab North Dakota State, South Dakota State. Um, that's another possibility. Uh, maybe they can they grab you know Missouri State, Illinois State. I mean, but I think uh, for the MAC, I think they're going to hold off as well. And I think the girl slow down the 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 rhetoric of that one because I think they add any quality schools into that conference, they're going to find themselves on the other end looking up at the new members. Cause right now, MAC football is not the greatest. So not sure many schools will want to go to the Mac just because of that fact. So I think the Macs will find themselves just kind of sitting there at 12. Kind of see how things play out from there. Well, that's uh, the latest update in the uh, college realignment landscape. Um, I think this will kind of slow things down until we get a better understanding of how the college football playoffs is going to uh, pan out in the upcoming years. Then you might see some more changes. Um, Conference USA, like I said, I think they're at nine uh, once West Virginia commits. Uh, they could grab a 10th member to get that college level uh, uh, championship game. But uh, grabbing those three Northeast schools doesn't really make much of a, ch- uh, 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 a sense for them. I think Army is part of the better option, gives them better quality football than UConn and UMass. But I don't think Army wants to do it. Um, but you know, they could prove me wrong as well. And, or like I said, they can go after, you know, some, uh, another FCS program that in that general vicinity, that area of the South to kind of make the move up. Like I said, you know, Missouri state, Chattanooga, Central Arkansas, Stephen F. Austin, Richmond, Florida, A&M, um, probably make the move up and then. I'm just, I'm just throwing out schools out there to kind of see which one sticks. <laughs> Cause I think that's what conference USA does. <laughs> but like I said, they made me look like an idiot. So I got to give them some props to uh, be able to survive their sinking ship. No, they were able to patch the holes, pump out the water. So they're not really, you're not, you're not too far down the water line. Um, they still got some water in there and still a possibility of this whole thing just imploding on them. But right now they're making it work. They're moving ahead. And then they got a, 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 looks like they got a game plan going. So, congrats, Conference USA, for uh, surviving. If I find anything else out, um, other than Western Kentucky staying put, I'll make sure I get my face in front of this camera, give you my two cents. And if you have anything to do with Conference USA, it's absolutely worth nada. 
Um, <laughs> but hey, that's just the nature of this, a conference realignment. Things change on the dime, and, and then strange bedfellows come 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 out. So go ahead, uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If you especially like this content, especially that, you know, listening to these possible scenarios for conference realignment. Now let me know what you think. Uh, what should Conference USA do next? You know, who should be their tenth member? What happens to the Mac? While you're there, you're going to subscribe. Once you subscribe, hit that bell notification. So next time I post a video, and I'll see you next time on Chat Sports Talk.